Hey guys, today we are going to talk about MTG Headquarters, Unsleeve Media, Tolarian Community College, and Channel Fireball, which is a new name to the Magic Gate. So Channel Fireball is very close in bed with Wizards of the Coast as they run all of their tournaments. There's, they have a monopoly on every event. Now, I, considering going to GP Houston, I'm probably going to pass because I don't like the way Wizards of the Coast is going. And that's crazy because I've gone to all of them in Texas. But I don't want to support Wizards of the Coast at this moment and being showing up and being in attendance is supporting them. So... Let's talk about Jeremy. Fly me out and pay me for to play in events or I'm not going. This dude is legit the true leader of the MTG community. He clearly loves the game above all else. He's talking about Tolarian Community College and we're just going to read you kind of the script that happened and Channel Fireball confirmed that this is very similar to what People, some people spend a lot of money playing Magic or going to Magic events. Other people make money from Magic events, and that's totally fine. So, Tolarian Community College says, I had no idea what was going to happen in, when I made my initial tweet. Channel Fireball asked if I'd attend, and I said, probably not. They asked, what, what if we fly you out? I said, man, one of them is like driving distance to me. Maybe I'll go to that one. And then they said, we'll fly you to any of them. And I said, even London, because I can't really justify a flight to London, but if you flew me out there, it'd be hard to turn down oh, for any human being, of course. And they said, yes, London, no problem. Just play in the Papa event. And I said, will you pay me? You know, like an appearance fee. And they said, are you nuts? We're flying you out to play Papa, Paper Papa. Get over yourself, Diva. And I said, I had to ask. And they said, no problem. We cool. And I said, I'll do indie too, because I feel good now. And that is how this discussion got wrapped up. So obviously, Tolarian Community College has a lot of sway and can bring a lot of people to a Channel Fireball event, which are more casual and maybe not their main core audience. But here are some other stuff that is happening. It's quite interesting uh, remember, this is his full-time job. So Tolarian Community College had quit or fired, I don't really know, his part-time job as a college professor. So he can travel whenever he wants, which is a luxury most of us do not have. And no matter how fantastic it is, he relies on the support of his Patreons and subscribers and sponsors. And here's where I have kind of a, a slight issue, and MTG Headquarters has mentioned it before. Well, if you're going to get sponsored by Channel Fireball, Card Kingdom, etc., then perhaps you should go a little lighter on the Patreon because you can either, get, in my opinion, kind of strains mixing both of them. So let's say, and he has supported Pico Trade in the past, which obviously we all know is a scam now. If you are being paid Patreon money and then you are being sponsored by Pico Trade, are you really saying what you feel like about Pico Trade or are you collecting points? And that's been one of the biggest criticisms I've had of, I mean, they've all done it. HQ, Weds, Tolarian, they've all promoted Pico Trade, where it's pretty obvious what's going on. Like, I mean, these are smart individuals. These are business savvy individuals who run, who make hundreds. I don't know how much HQ makes, but I assume Weds makes over 100. I assume Tolarian makes over 250. Uh, again, assumptions. And perhaps one of them would make a video telling me how much they actually make or not, right? I mean, they were just my assumptions. So at the end of the day, we have a large event which is going to fly the professor out to meet players and to play with them. I think one of the key, the funny parts about this is how far we've gone down the rabbit hole. It used to be you would play John Finkel. And Channel, Channel Fireball would fly pros out and you could play them and you could match your skills. Now, no one really cares how good you are at Magic, right? Unless you're Alex cheating. Alex Bacchiti. Cheating. Chanani. Okay, you know that was the, the dude who cheats all the time. Maybe like it would be impossible to bring him out because everyone would be just pissed. Or maybe that's good. Like beat the greatest cheater in history. All right, side, side note, side note. So here we have the the haves and the have nots and this is what is dividing our community you have a lot of people a lot of my friends 
they can't really afford even fat packs. They can't afford booster packs. F and M five dollars is a lot of money to them. Uh, there are tons of people in high school or in college, or maybe they're working their first job, and they enjoy magic and they pay for magic. So, and then there's people who don't pay for magic. I know for a fact that these a lot of these products and more are given for free for a lot of people. There is a list that Wizards of the Coast has, and they just I mean, it makes sense, right? Hey, Commander Cast, you guys do Commander and you promote us. Let's give you all the free products and pay you. Now, that's always a question I get. Like, what is considered payment? Because Tolarian Community College told me that he was not paid to do the monthly Magic Box, which was the biggest scam until Puka Trade came along. And I was surprised in that. And they really hearken to that belief. But even though you're not paid money, you got the free box. So isn't that some form of payment? So you can be paid in cash, which, you know, I guess the monthly magic box did not pay to learn community college in cash, but could you be paid in product? Does that count as payment? And for Tolarian, it does not. Um, he has stated on his Facebook at that time, it did not count as payment. And that's why I'm always a little, I wanted to bring up this video because, and this issue I've, it's rocks and boxing. It's everyone in this community, pretty much. There's very few honest people. Rudy's very honest. HQ is honest, but also a little psychopathic, to be honest. Like, he's honest, but he's on a war path. So you have to kind of take what he's saying with a grain of salt. Rudy's very honest, right? He's in it for himself. He's a businessman. He understands margins and all of those good things that all business people should understand. And I'm hearing that I think Tolarian lives in the San Francisco Bay region, which is one of the most expensive regions to live in. And people were saying $200,000 is not enough money to live off a year. Name me, name me like that many, how many, I can probably count the number of magic players on my hand who make over a quarter million dollars a year that I know of. And I went to a good school. I went to a good law school and I own my own business. So I, you know, I have friends who are doctors, I have friends who are, are energy traders, and they don't make $250,000. Now, some of you will say, oh, it's for renovation, it's for renovation, uh, and it's for office, and it's office. But I mean, that's a cost, right? So if I were to renovate one of my rooms, that's increasing the, co the value of my home, and therefore it's not necessarily 100% for my business, right? And if the business is higher production, I get camera equipment, I get more lighting equipment, but at some point you don't need a million cameras or, and you're not gonna buy them at some point. I mean, if he's buying the product, I will give him 100%, hey, go for it. I don't think that's what's happening. I think it's a monthly magic box scenario and I wish that he would clarify in this issue because it is a, I mean, it, I don't know. Is he buying the product himself, which would be a better kind of viewer, that would be a more honest review, or is, are they sending him the product? Or worst case, some people send him the product and some people don't. That will create a dichotomy. No one is unbiased. No one is unbiased, ever. So, you know, how are the product reviews being done? Anyway, that is my personal critique on Tolarian Community College. And I wanted to kind of expand on what MTG headquarters was saying because I don't know if he's saying it in the correct way or he could say it a little bit more elegantly. And the way that, to conclude, if you love magic and you view it as a hobby, you spend money on magic. I spend money on magic. HQ spends money on magic. But if you view magic as a business, you make money from magic. So there's two types of people in our community. Anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.